sleeping in on a Saturday as they transition to a six day school week. The division uses a year round balanced calendar, but starting this weekend, families can opt in to even more classroom time. Sarah Shackles sat down with school leaders about the changes that they hope to see with this addition. The Hopewell School Board says these Saturday sessions will give students a chance to catch up who may have fallen behind during the pandemic. Most students probably don't look for more school. They're probably not like terribly excited about that. But no one really wants to get held back either. So there's a pathway to be able to help those students be able to find a way to make sure that they get to the next grade. We want to make sure that our students have the opportunity to have the grades that they need to graduate as well as the attendance that they need to graduate. And this is an opportunity to help. Saturday classes are open to all third to 12th grade students in the Hopewell City Schools District. The program is funded through the Virginia Department of Education's All In Plan, which has $418 million to dole out to divisions across the state for intensive tutoring. That's where the funding is coming to us to be able to use for those purposes. Each school division has to either, I think, pretty much use it or lose it. Davis says they have funding for 25 Saturday tutors who can each help 10 to 15 students. Saturdays will mimic normal six hour school days with food and breaks provided. The focal areas are predominantly reading and math, but it, there are other cross curricular opportunities and where we go into other subject areas. And it's all kicking off in a matter of days for 13 weeks. It's an ambitious plan, so uh, it's kind of a we have we're, we're moving all in the right direction to make it happen this Saturday and um, yes, Saturday, February 3rd is the plan. I'm told notices about these Saturday sessions only went out late last week, so they don't actually know how many students will take part yet, but once they do, they'll be able to assign transportation. In Hopewell, Sarah Shackles, 12 on your side. Thanks, Sarah.